Welcome to Popcorn Planet. We are live and we are watching The Nine Lives of Johnny Depp, Vice TV's new documentary featuring Amber's attorney, Elaine Bredehoff. Now, is she going to be caught in more lies? Let's find out together. I can tell you I've seen enough to know that this full documentary is a little bit of a nothing burger. Thankfully, thankfully, the documentary itself is more of a, uh, and look, we're about 28 minutes in that I've already fast forwarded because it's just all about the ups and downs of Johnny Depp and his career. So it's not really the hit piece that many people were worried about. But now we're gonna enter the portion about the trial. I thought, let's watch that portion together so you can make your own judgment. Here and he is. He pushes through the storm. This is, he just pushed the storm of the Lone and Ranger, the which was, neck. Not a great film, hit. Finds yet another beauty who sweeps him off his feet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We all know where She's this is going. She's up and coming blonde bombshell Amber Heard. Ugh. It's so hard to look at her face now. I gotta be honest. She was one of those actresses that... I, she was stunning. I, I'm not gonna lie. I get why he fell for her. But man, it's amazing how the inside of a person can immediately make them so unattractive. He's an incredibly talented actor, and he's wonderful Ugh. to be around. Johnny, are you dating Amber Rich. Johnny and Amber begin dating in secret while on the press junket for the Rum Diary. They fall madly in love. Ugh. After a quick romance, I gotta, I gotta start and pause. Bear with me. After a quick romance, the two get married in Johnny's private island in the Bahamas. I'm just gonna be the voiceover from time to time. It seems like he's found, he's found his, forever. his forever love. Like most of Johnny's relationships, it isn't long before things go south. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> now we got to have this like dark, look at this, the honeymoon turns into torture. But like most of Johnny's relationships. It, it, <laughs> come on, Kevin, why'd you agree with the script? Hope the honeymoon they paid you well. turns into a nightmare. The honeymoon turns into a nightmare. I wish this was the, what's his name? Keith from uh, Dateline's voice. And barely a year after the wedding, Johnny's marriage and life begin to unravel. This whole B-roll here, he's throwing, he, I don't like this. Nah, no, Vice, what is this? Some weird Johnny Depp stand in out of focus. But Brandon, are you watching that? It's a good idea for our documentary. <laughs> to do something for the other thing we're doing. But not 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 lying like they are. Cops are called to a Los Angeles. But here we go. Here comes the drama. We're gonna get into it. Let's see. I want you guys to follow along with me. How honest? For a domestic disturbance. Cops are, are called for Amber? domestic disturbance. Are you Amber? Are you okay, Johnny? Is definitely not here. Days later, Amber is seen outside a courthouse. She files for divorce and gets a restraining order against Johnny. Yeah, and she could have walked out the back and chose to walk out the front. That, as Christopher Melcher told us, who goes to this court often, there are like four exits for private and exits. She went where all the and paparazzi the media was. Notices a black eye. The media notices. She, this is what's so frustrating about these reports and documentaries. She chose, this was all a PR op. The media notices. Rumors begin to swirl about the toxic relationship that was coming to an end. Hurt says this injury was a result of Depp throwing a cell phone at her and pulling her hair during a drug and alcohol-fueled rage. Stunning allegations threatened to end Johnny's career. She had been reporting the abuse for f the four years of their relationship. <sighs> yeah, that's the f that is a good face, Elaine. <laughs> you son of a witch. She had been reporting it for four years. Lies! Lies! Never happened. My name is Elaine Charlson Breda Hoft, and I represented Amber Heard. In and lost. In the claims brought by Johnny Depp. Lost really badly and can't get much work now, so I'm doing Vice documentaries to feed the bills. You think it's funny? Feed the family to pay the bills. You, you think you're a funny? Oh my God. They sought me again. Yeah, really believable. I got involved with the trial because at the time I was working at TMZ. Not only is Johnny Depp getting divorced, but it is a bitter, nasty divorce. Ugh, TMZ, you are despicably gross. Per my testimony during this trial, uh, TMZ received a video that showed uh, Johnny Depp having a, uh, a bit of an episode in their home in which he was slamming cabinets, and uh, it was being filmed by Amber. Why does no one ever actually talk about why he was doing this? about all the money he lost, his accountants were stealing from him, why he was so pissed. 
And why is Morgan on this? I, I honestly, I don't mean to sh throw shade. I saw his reasoning. Well, I thought somebody good should be on there. I thought you didn't want attention. <laughs> like, which is it? <laughs> like, I feel like he always looked down upon all of us trying to grift off the trial. Like, but what is this? You, it, it, I, I always respected the fact that he never wanted to come on do shows and do things, but he's doing documentaries now. I don't know. I like Morgan. I, don't, I, I look, I, I just, why'd you t say all that if you're going to do this? Great. Go defend Johnny, but then don't try to look down on the rest of us. As far as how we got the video, it was. I mean, I'm glad someone is, to be fair, I'm glad he's there, but I, I, I'm just confused. What, what, why are these people doing this documentary about him? How do you know Vice is going to be honest? Email to us, and that's all I'm going to say about that. And he's not really being pro either. He's He doesn't really reveal too much. He doesn't say Amber gave the thing, which she clearly did. He's not even, maybe he did imply it in the raw footage to be fair, but that's why these documentaries are so dangerous. Um, it's why I really try to avoid them. You're all going to get mad at me at some point about one, but stay tuned. I'll be able to explain. <laughs> I don't want someone to clip this and say, you're a hypocrite, Andy. No, stay tuned. I, I, when I'm allowed to talk, I will. In the meanwhile, let's keep going. She has a, uh, a camera sort of hidden behind a couple bottles. It's in their kitchen. And then she's talking to Johnny and he's getting a glass. He's slamming. So they reshot this whole scene. In the cabinet after he gets really deep focus. Glass, glass, filling it up with wine. And then Johnny discovers that there is a camera and, uh, and grabs the camera. He's being very rude and belligerent to Amber. It's a very difficult video to watch. Why though? Why was this happening and why was she filming it? And why didn't she just step away, right? There's so much that we covered when we did this. This particular video was a sabotage where Amber's trying to play like the meek little, oh, I'm a victim. No, Johnny's in his own world, mad about losing money, his accountant's stealing from him. He's at some place and he's decided to just rough up some cabinets. It's not the best behavior. I'm not gonna say it is. However, he's not doing it to Amber. He's doing it to cabinets. Um, and then Amber inserts herself in there to try to make him do it to her because she's filming. She wants to unnerve him and catch him. And in fact, when Johnny catches it, she laughs at the end. <laughs> she's supposed to be scared of the monster. No, she's trying to catch Johnny in any angry situation to paint him a monster so she can win. That's how deplorable it is. So I'm annoyed when I watch these where Morgan's now being intercut with Elaine to allow this narrative that this was Johnny really bad in a video because it wasn't. It wasn't, Morgan. Come on. You're supposed to be here defending him, and I still feel like you're kind of half-assing it. Amber placed herself in that scenario. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? It frustrates me when they try to paint this like he was throwing cabinets at Amber. She got, if, uh, Correct me if I'm wrong. If you're with a partner who's dangerous and scaring you, and they're suddenly throwing cabinets around, wouldn't you go to another room, not put up a camera and get in there and start prodding and pushing the guy? Why, why isn't anybody talking about that? He was drinking pretty heavily and just the pressure of his career was finally starting just to break him down. And, and Amber was the icing on the cake, I guess. And I couldn't I, imagine some of the stuff that was being said. Good for Stephen Williams. It's like, I'm not gonna say negative shit. Couldn't imagine him being that that monster. Months later, Amber writes an opinion piece in the Washington Post. The Me Too movement is in full swing, and she hints that she too is the victim of domestic abuse. While she doesn't name Deb, everyone makes the connection. There was definitely uh, an air of Amber being in the right, and Johnny should just be absolutely canceled. So there was definitely a, a big PR battle to be fought there. But again, what's fr sorry, I didn't have it on, but it's just frustrating. You're hearing it, just Morgan talking. Again, it's all these people sort of writing out this this scenario. Um, why isn't this playing anymore? That it just annoys me because I don't feel like they're telling the full story. I don't. With his career on the brink of collapse, Johnny's team immediately sues the newspaper for libel. He is one of the most famous actors in the world, but now Johnny Depp's reputation is in tatters. Okay. And so begins the fight for his life. This whole he piece is just trying weary. to sum up looked, you know, his life. Up. This is a... And to be fair, Johnny's had a lot of ups and downs. A bad situation here. Amber Heard filed for divorce three days after Johnny's mother died and left him two days after she died. Yeah. 
Amber Heard. TMZ actually sharing something relevant. <laughs> files for divorce and a restraining order. A British newspaper calls Johnny. There's Dan Wooten, by the way, everyone who says it's not relevant. Dan Wooten, who deserves to owe. We ha absolutely have to enforce he owes Johnny Depp an apology. He was just literally wrongfully accused. He's now trying to win his life back. Dan, you don't get to win your life back and be the champion of rights as he's the champion of all these rights, people being falsely accused by trial of media. Yeah, Dan, you don't get to do any of that until you apologize for this because this is where it all really stemmed from. A wife beater. To regain control of his reputation, he sues the newspaper for libel and There's loses. Adam Waldman. His legal team vows revenge back in the States while they file a defamation lawsuit against Amber and her abuse allegations. She countersues for $100 million. And the table is set for one of the most watched celebrity civil trials ever. I That's love true. a good trial. Who doesn't love a good trial? I'm Emily D. Baker. I'm a lawyer and legal analyst. These are A-list celebrities with lots of money in a civil case. It's a really rare thing to see. Facts. But what's crazy is the media didn't expect to cover it or really be honest about it. We did. As trial starts, and immediately the world is transfixed by the explosive details of a relationship from hell. Well, not only that, but also, I mean, sure, there was crap in the bed. It was the fact that she was caught lying. Kevin Pollack. Ms. Heard was well aware of my past, my childhood, therefore was uh, very adept at knowing exactly w which buttons to push. Johnny's back. That's weird. They're quoting that that clip was from the Netflix documentary. Hmm. Round lent itself to an inability to curtail impulses that he had, which sometimes are volatile and sometimes are violent. And a lot of that has come from his experiences as an adult, every bit as much as from his experiences as a child. It seems that all relational hell broke loose in Australia between the two of them, and they ended up in a very large fight wherein Amber Heard threw a very large vodka bottle at Johnny Depp, and it caught his finger Amber Heard's testimony is that this was a tremendously violent time for her as well, that Johnny Depp was doing handfuls of MDMA and had violently attacked her and broken a pool table, that her feet had been cut with glass throughout the house. And let's not forget s -Aid, which we're not gonna mention. Johnny Depp had used the blood of his finger to write on lampshades, to write on a mirror. It was an absolutely horrific scene for both of them. The trial puts the couple's talk. I mean, I guess I, I'm not mad at Emily. I mean, it's true. Uh, but Amber disputed that she even threw the bottle. There's a lot more lies they're not addressing. And so I always hate these things. They gloss over so many details to try to play both sides. Both were toxic. Sick relationship on display. After their breakup, Depp promised Amber he would never look her in the eyes again. He keeps his promise. He knows he's lying. Otherwise, why can't he look at me? She's so manipulative. It was a lot of he said, she said. And one of the biggest pieces of evidence, I think, against Amber was her admitting over a, a tape, an audio recording, that she did hit Johnny. Thank you, Thank you I'm Morgan. not deck you. I was hitting you, but you're fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. That was one of the most damning pieces of evidence in which she really came across as an abuser against Johnny. Amen. Good for Morgan. All right, good. Nobody came out of that looking, you know, squeaky clean. Uh, but the difference is one person is a woman in her 20s with really no institutional power oh, behind fuck her. You. And the other person is an icon who has not only the money. He didn't have the money. He was losing so much money. Not only the influence in the industry, but. He didn't have the influence. The goodwill of two to three generations of people. Who thought he was washed up. He thought that his career was over, you moron. To pick up torches on his behalf. Oh, that's why we did it. Oh, this douchebag. Christian Finnegan. Comedian? Is what his bio says. 
Who are you? Why are you here talking about Johnny Depp? A chorus of boos greets Amber Heard this morning as she comes to- Yeah, why were they booing, guys? Because she was lying. She was a, an abuser. ...to court. It's a sharp contrast to the rock star welcome Johnny Depp got. And this only happened as the trial progressed and the evidence came out. They weren't doing this anywhere else up until then. He developed this fan base Ugh. that just adores him unconditionally. Get out of here. They will blame whoever he might have done something wrong to. It's their fault they asked for it. Well, Amber, what did you do to cause him to hit you? You must be the bad person here. And that's the way they thought. <laughs> oh, thank you, Elaine. Uh, no wonder you lost the case. <laughs> you dumbass. That's not what any of us thought. You are so misguided trying to rewrite history. F off with your nonsense. Even reenacting her claims of abuse for millions of likes. And he slapped For millions of likes. In my face. About 95% of the social media wasn't just anti Amber, it was with a purpose to annihilate. Lies. Recreating her abuse scenarios were trying to spotlight what a joke she was, because she is. And you know it, Elaine. Amber. <laughs> yeah, she, exactly. What the fuck was she doing? It was all performative. I used a, like a, a bruise kit. Not a bruise kit, it's a theater makeup kit. Slapped me across the face. I turned to look at him. And I said, Johnny, you hit me. Heard is not a victim of domestic abuse. Well, I wish they'd play the whole clip to show how ridiculous these clips were, because Amber's clips were ridiculous. He's the perpetrator. There's no way she could have survived this. There's no way anyone could have survived this. But she did. She did survive. She's in Spain thriving in movies, right, Elaine? What do you mean she didn't survive this? No one could survive this. She did. I just got off the phone with one domestic violence survivor who told me this feels to her like a modern day stoning. Oh, so one survivor. How many do we have call in? Dozens just in our show alone who furious at her. Furious, but no, one called in to this lady and there. that's all we get. The jury takes 13 hours to deliberate. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven by clear and convincing evidence that Ms. Heard acted with actual malice? Answer, yes. Johnny is awarded $15 million in damages, but at the same time, Amber is awarded $2 million in her countersuit. There are still very inflamed feelings about this trial because there are those that believe that the jury got it wrong and those that believe that Johnny Depp was completely vindicated. And I think that those differences of opinion aren't going to be quelled. They aren't going to be quelled. I mean, she's not wrong. The people who believe Amber are still going to go there. And uh, the people who believe Johnny know the truth. It is what it is. But there's still some diabolical, crazy, insane people who think Amber was the victim here. Um, so overall, though, look, there's definitely some frustrations as I'm trying to get to the end of this and fast forward these commercials. There's some frustrations here with me personally about this documentary. Um, but... Overall, it's not the hit piece everyone claims. It's very just generically soft. It's, it is a nothing burger. They're trying to be fair. They're trying to cover both things. And they're trying to be quick. It's trying to cover all of Johnny Depp's career Johnny Depp's fall minutes. from grace comes at a time when the star was ready to settle into his golden years. While he won in court, Hollywood studios are dropping him and the jury's out on public sentiment. I mean, this was all before. Their timeline's wrong here. This was 2020. What do you, come on. Following the trials. You he didn't lose that following the trial. You could argue that Johnny Depp has emerged intact. He has. Although I think his feelings for Amber Heard have been ambivalent. The failure of that marriage and then the devolvement into rancor and you know litigation, I think really did a lot of damage to him. After the trial, he was in a period of mourning. This is not cool. You know, this situation is not cool. You know, I saw no happiness there. No, nothing. Did his relationship with Amber Heard change everything? Yeah, of course it did. You know, it's affected his kids, affected his career, his friendships. And while Johnny may have lost out on lucrative roles in Pirates and Fantastic... They'll come back. ...beasts, he holds on to one deal. 
The beauty brand Dior renews his contract for $20 million, becoming the most lucrative men's fragrance deal of all time. Well, good. They've given us some positive here. That perfume commercial. But ready for Christian Finnegan to stick a middle for finger sure, in when Johnny's he plays face? plays Wild Thing on guitar is the most divorced middle-aged guy thing I have ever seen in my life. It just screams. Cool. It's not over. I'm still cool, but it's such an uncool person's image of what cool is. Maybe. What? He made a fortune, you dumbass. It was the highest grossing perfume. You, I think you're jealous, Christian. Let's hear from Deep Roy instead. He needed a new start, which he is going to, because he's going to be directing. So he's going to make a good director. And if history has taught us anything, it's that Johnny Depp is Hollywood's greatest chameleon with the uncanny ability to reinvent Facts. himself again and again. In 2023, a moment of redemption. The actor receives a seven-minute standing ovation at the Cannes Film Festival for his role in Jeanne du Beret. It's a sign of life in a career flatlined by scandals. A career. <laughs> it's a sign that Johnny has been looking for. But do not call it a comeback. I've been here for years, rocking this mic. The word comeback because I didn't go anywhere. As a matter of fact, I live about 45 minutes away. His work is, is fing excellent. Facts. I mean, the kid, again, is a natural and does excellent work. My owns about five or six <laughs> islands. <laughs> owns five or six islands. Crazy money coming from somewhere. You know, the fame and the success and the wealth and to absolutely feel trapped and that you were being consumed and a prisoner to your art is um, pretty heavy, you know, it's pretty Facts. heavy. It's actually perfect that Johnny Depp idolizes Keith Richards because he is my generation's Keith Richards. He's this sort of unkillable force that just keeps going in the face of I don't like this guy. This comedian is not a comedian. Drugs and alcohol and time like Count Dracula. Ha! There's always this feeling that everything is circling the drain with Johnny Depp, but it never goes down. If you My follow God, his career, douchebag. you realize that whatever excesses that people have associated with him, whether it's drinking, drugs, acting, music. He keeps having to one-up not only himself, but one-up any expectations people have of him. His being a rebel is a necessary component to- I agree with that. That's a good assessment. He does always need to be the rebel. To how he recognizes himself every day. If he's not rebelling, then he's not himself. I don't know what happens to people or why they do what they do or how work, what, uh, trip life takes them on but i think everybody deserve to have a private life and i think a person should be looked at and judged by their work facts not what they do outside of their work we all have a a right to who we are and what we do and sometimes what we do is unfortunate fortunate and destructive to who we are. 100 million percent. That's and he's speaking about everyone. Everyone. We got to stop being so quick to judge. The last time I had a serious heartfelt conversation with with John Depp and John and we were talking about just our lives in general and he looked at me with with all sincerity and he looked at me and said you know bean he says i i gotta tell you i envy you i was thrown back you know i was like wait a second Sh shouldn't i be saying this to you he said no man you don't get it he said you're so free deep shit at the end there man look uh, overall uh, I thought J usually it's JD, J Deep. I've heard a million. I didn't, I don't actually know people called him John, but Hey, I guess it is John, Jonathan, Johnny. Anyway, my point is, uh, this piece, not, not the piece everyone thought it was going to be. Now Elaine does embarrass herself a few times in it for sure. 
Uh, but overall, this could have been a much worse thing. This could have been a total hit piece. And I got to say, I don't think it was. I don't think it was. Uh, there's stuff I would have adjusted or corrected for the truth, but they're trying to play a little bit of both sides. But ultimately, they, they show the success of Johnny, the ups and downs of Johnny, and I can't be that mad at it. I wasn't that worried. Who the hell even knows where Vice TV is? But that's where it is if you want to watch this full piece. But there it is. What do you think? What was the most offensive part for you during that trial portion? I want to look at your comments. I want to see what you think because I don't think it was that bad. Thank you guys so much for watching. What an amazing show. That one got emotional. If you want to watch the full live show, you missed a lot of it, make sure you hit that join button or better yet, become a member over on Patreon. If you can't afford it, just hit subscribe at the bell at least. Hit that like button and stay tuned for so much more. Help down below by commenting, encourage, share, all that jazz. You guys are the best. I love you all. Enjoy the rest of your nights. We'll see you soon. We're live every Tuesday and Thursday, but check out Nerd Reports live right now. We're going to redirect over there. You guys rock. Stay tuned. Thanks again.